What's up guys, this is the MSI PS63. It's a pretty unique laptop in the way it balances performance and portability. So it's a thin and light 15 inch laptop. It's running a low power quad core CPU with a GTX 1650. So the performance is kind of middle of the bunch between an Ultrabook and a full on gaming laptop. And it's also got a big beefy 80 watt hour battery inside rated for 16 hours of battery life. And I feel like for a lot of people, this is the perfect balance between portability, performance, and battery life. It's kind of just good at everything. Now, for clarification, there were a couple reviews of this laptop that came out a few months ago, but this one has been updated with the GTX 1650. So there's one without a GPU, the 1050, and this one. But they're all first generation laptops, so this one isn't like an update to the one that came out a few months ago. So yeah, MSI PS63, let's check it out. The build quality of the PS63 is really good, much better than their other gaming laptops. The top deck has been reinforced so there's no flex, the keyboard is solid, there's an average amount of flex with the screen but I'd say otherwise it's a really well made laptop. The hinge is tuned perfectly with one hand open and the rubber feet on the bottom are super grippy so this thing doesn't slide around on your desk which is nice. I believe this is the only color that you can get this in, so it's like this dark grey with a blue chamfer around the laptop, and they kept the logo pretty stealth. It's like this black on black dragon logo, no LEDs, it's pretty slick. The screen they're running is a 15 inch 1080p panel, viewing angles are excellent, brightness, color gamut, and color accuracy are all okay. Not terrible, but not great either, and I'd recommend calibrating it if you're doing any color sensitive work. They only offer it with the 1080p screen right now, so there's no 4K or OLED option with better color accuracy, but I do hope MSI adds OLED to the next one. As usual with MSI laptops, the speakers are located at the bottom front of the laptop, and these aren't great. They're a bit quiet, and the bass is really lacking, so if you're doing any editing or gaming, you'll probably want to use headphones. They're okay if you need to use them, like if you just want to watch a quick YouTube video, they're fine, and they don't sound bad, it's just kind of average. They're not amazing. The keyboard and trackpad are both good, but there's just a couple small details that keeps them from being great. The keyboard is sized well, it's got a great layout, three stage white LED backlighting, but the key travel is rather short. I got used to them in no time, so I'd still say they're good, but it just needs a little bit more travel. And the trackpad is your usual 2019 stuff with smooth glass surface, windows drivers. There's a fingerprint sensor in the top left corner. I wish it was on the right side because I'm right handed, but uh, it's there. And it's sized pretty well. The clicks are kind of soft and I'm having this weird issue where if I move the cursor around and I do a hard stop, the cursor kind of lags behind a little bit and it ends up going a bit farther than I wanted. So you're probably wondering about the performance, because companies don't usually pair a low power Ultrabook CPU, so in this case the i7-8565U with a GTX 1650, and performance is actually pretty good. Lighter games will play without a hitch, AAA games from 2017 and older will play at 60fps at medium to high, but the current and more demanding games, like Shadow of the Tomb Raider, will need settings dropped to medium to low to maintain 60fps. Definitely not a dedicated gaming laptop, but it can definitely game as long as you don't mind lowering the quality a little bit. Editing performance is also really good. I did my testing using DaVinci Resolve 16 instead of Premiere because it's faster and I find it easier to use so it takes less time to edit a video. It handles 4K video with color correction easy. It also uses dual channel RAM, both sticks upgradable, and the SSD they're using is a Toshiba drive with good reads and writes. With the fans on auto, this thing will run into the 90s, but if you max out the fans, then there's no thermal throttling. Temps for the CPU and GPU average at around 71 degrees and 62 degrees under a full load, and the surface temps are also comfortable. The top deck does get pretty hot, but the keyboard and palm rest area are fine. The last thing that I want to mention is that when you have this thing open, the exhaust vents are upward facing, so it, like, it fires up to the screen, but when you have this thing closed, the screen clears the vent so it doesn't actually exhaust hot air back into the laptop when you're using this thing in clamshell mode. It's got a decent mix of ports, so you have your power, HDMI, USB-C, two USB-As, and a headphone microphone jack, and on the right you have two more USB-As and a micro SD slot. I would have liked to have seen Thunderbolt 3 through that USB-C port, and I also wish they replaced the micro SD for a full-size SD, but otherwise pretty good. Three USB-A ports.
Inside is an 83 watt hour battery and that combined with the power efficient hardware gave me like 10 hours of battery life with light use. I've seen reviews that claim between 11 to 12 hours of battery life. I'm getting 10 hours, which is still really good. That's more than a full workday. While gaming, you can expect about three, maybe three and a half hours of battery life, depending on the game. It also comes with a super compact 90 watt charger that ends in a barrel plug. And if you wanna use USB-C to charge your laptop, Unfortunately, that's not really a thing on this laptop. I tried with my MacBook Pro charger and it doesn't really work. So overall thoughts on the PS63 Modern are really positive. It's super thin and light. It weighs just three and a half pounds, which is what a 13 inch MacBook Pro weighs. It's got good performance, full day battery with my only real complaint being the speakers. It's just in a bad position. As for the price, this model goes for $1,500. So it's the i7-8565U. GTX 1650, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD. And if you're looking at this primarily as a gaming laptop, you're gonna be in for a bad time. You have to look at this more as an LG Gram, so portability and battery life first, with the added bonus of having that GTX 1650 to give it more power when you need it. Cause none of the thin and light gaming laptops are pulling 10 plus hours of battery life in such a small form factor. And if that's what you're looking for, this is an awesome laptop. So that's gonna wrap this video up. Leave a comment with any laptops or phones that you would like me to review. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys next time.